Well, I I don't understand why you're so mystified and flabbergasted and whatever the hell else you are because you asked me to write down my news, which I don't need to do, but I did it anyway. You wanted to talk to me when my depression was at its worst right before I got there. I called you and told you that. You know, you said yourself that I am pretty good at gauging my news. Well, the reason why I'm good at gauging my news is because they're like fucking clockwork. How could you or anybody else or whoever these people are that that do all this research to determine whether medication works or is safe or whatever, the people who write the DSM, nobody can go inside my head and see what it's like in there and you, you just have to believe me. Why don't you believe me? Why aren't you taking me seriously? Do you understand me? End of November, I go down. I, I'm sorry, but there just really wasn't anything that that I could do about it. I I thought that I told you. I thought that that was one of the things that you had written down. I. My year starts in September, and I'm fairly normal, and I slowly go up. And then I start to go down again, and then by Christmas, when so many people are depressed because of the holidays, I start to come back up, and I, I'm either up or half depressed and half manic, cranky is what my husband calls it. I told you that's the way it was going to be, and that's exactly the way it was. January 8th, I started to feel high creative again. like. If I wanted to paint the Mona Lisa, I'd be able to paint the Mona Lisa. And I don't mean in a delusional sort of way, so don't get excited about that. I mean that I can actually focus, I can actually do things up to my technical level of ability without it being a struggle. That's why I call it high creative. We can't, we can't deal with my mania when I'm like this. I gave you five days notice when I could see I was coming down, 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 down. I, it's like I turned into somebody else. I swear to God, my, my, my hair is thinner, my skin is th thinner, you know, I'm like a shade lighter skin and I feel like and look like I'm you know, on the brink of, like, dying or shooting myself or something. I remember my first depression. I was three and a half years old. I know I was three and a half years old. And I know that it was the winter because it was, it was the year that my first memory of it was the night my sister was born and we were waiting around the phone for my parents to call. I, I told you that. You said, well, can you call me when you start to come out of it? Well, that's a very brief window of time and I don't feel bad that I was a couple of days off because when I'm starting to come out of it, I'm just, I'm like holding up my pencils and paper like, huh, hurry on. Hurry up, come on, come on, come on, you know, when am I going to be able to finally draw again? When am I going to finally be able to get a good idea? And so then you said, well, when you start coming down out of high creative, right before you crash, and I told you, I don't just crash anymore. 
I'm not shot back up. I, it, this is like mixed. I just, just, just willy. I just feel like my whole nervous system is itching. And I have all this energy and I can't sleep. I can barely eat. And God, it just, really, I could like walk down the street with a chainsaw right now and just zzz, 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 everybody's head. That's how I feel. Okay, but I haven't done that. I haven't even, I haven't even yelled at my husband because that's the gold standard if I start yelling at him, which I haven't done. And the only reason why I'm yelling at you is because you're not listening to me. I get these feelings sometimes, like I'm, I'm just going to fall into a hole and not be able to get back out. And if nobody understands how I'm feeling and why and when it's going to happen, there's nobody that can pull me out of the hole. I mean, I, I suppose, I suppose I could, I could try to contact my manic self, you know, and say, hey, you've got all that energy, can you come and pull me out of this hole?